Hi guys, we're gonna continue with the second part, Hearts and Crosses, and let's begin. Webb stood on one end of the gallery, <clears throat> giving others orders to two or three sub-bosses of various camps and outfits who had ridden in <clears throat> for, for instructions. Morin said but briefly, where do you want to, where do you want them beefs? To go in town, to barbers as usual, as usual. No, to trans to answer. That had been the prerogative of the queen. All the reins of business, buying, selling, and banking, had been held by her capable fingers. The handling of the cattle had been entrusted fully to her husband. In the days of King King Mac Macalister, Santa had been his secretary and helper, and she had continued her work with wisdom and profit. But before she could reply, the prince consorts spark, spark up with calm decision. You drive that bunch of Zimmerman, Zimmerman and Nesbitt's pants. I spoke to Zimmerman about it some time ago, but turned on his high boot heels. Wait, called Santa quickly. She looked at her husband with surprise in her steady gray eyes. Why, what do you mean, Webb? she asked. With small wrinkle gathering between her brows. I never deal with Zimmerman and ne Nesbitt. Barber has handled every head of stock from this ranch in that market for five years. I'm not going to take the businesses business out of his hands. She faced Bud Turner. Deliver those, those cattle to Barber. She concluded positively. Bud gazed impartially at the water jar hanging on the gallery, stood on his other leg and chewing a mesquit leaf. Mesquite leaf. I want this bunch of babies to go to Zimmerman and Nesbit, said Webb, with the fr frosty light in his blue eyes. Nonsense, said Santa impatiently. You'd better start on, but so as to noon at the little elm water hole. Tell Barber we'll have another lot of cools, lot of cools ready in about a month. But allow allowed a hesitating eye to steal upward and meet Webb's. Webb saw apology in his look and fancied he saw commiss commiseration. You delivered the damn cattle, he said grimly to Barber, finished Santa sharply. Let that settle it. Is there any anything else you are waiting for, Bud? Mm, no, um, um, said Bud. But before going, he lingered while a cow's tail could have switched trees. Tries. For men, is men's alley <laughs> and even the film philistines philistines must have blushed when they took simons in the way they did you hear your boss cried webb
You hear your boss, cried Webb, sardonically. Sardonically. He took off his hat and bowed until it touched the floor before his wife. Webb, said Sa Santa Rebacon, rebuckingly, rebuckingly, you are acting mighty foolish today. Court fool, your majesty. Court fool, your majesty, said Webb, in his slow tones, which had changed their quality. What else could can you expect? Let, let me tell you. I was a man before I married a cattle queen. What I am now? A laughing stock of the camps. I'll be a man again. Santa looked at him closely. Don't be unreasonable, Webb, she said calmly. You haven't been s slighted in any way. Do I ever inter interfere in your management of the cattle? I know the business side of the ranch much better, much better than you do. I learned it from that. Be sensible. Kingdoms and Queendoms, said Webb. Don't sweet suit me unless I am in the pictures too. I punched the cattle and you wear the crown. All right. I'd be rather in High Lord Counselor, Counselor of a cow camp than the eighth spot in the in the Queen Hyde Flush. It's your ranch. And Barber gets the beeps. Webb's horse was tied to the rack. He walked into the house and brought out his roll of blank blankets that he never took with him except uh, on long rides. And his head slicker and his longest stake rope of painted rough hide. This, this he began to tie the del delberately upon his saddle. Santa, a little pale, followed him. Webb swung, swung up into the saddle, his serious, smooth face, but without, without expression, except for Sub stop born light stop born light that smoldered in his eyes there is a her there is a herd of cows and cables said he near the Honda water hole on the Firo that out off to be moved away from timber. Lobos have killed three of the calves of the calves. I forgot to leave or orders. You'd better tell Simis to attend to it. Santa laid in Santa laid a hand on the horse's bridle and look her husband in the eyes in the eye and you are going to leave me web she asked quietly i'm going to be a good uh, i'm going to be a man again he answered i wish you success in praiseworthy praise worthy attempt she said with a sudden coldness She turned and walked directly into the house. Webb Yager rode to the southeast 
as straight as the topography of West Texas permitted. And when she and when he reached the horizon, he might have ridden on into blue space as far as knowledge of him on the Nopalito went. And the days with Sundays at their head formed into head hab domino abdominal squats and the wicks captained by the full moon closed ranks into men menstrual companies men's menstrual companies Karen Tempus for fidget On their banners, and the month, month, marched, marched. On toward the west campground of the years. But Web Yager came no more to the domin dominions of his queen. One day, a being named Buff Bartholomew Bartholomew Bartholomew, a shipman, and therefore a little account from the lower Rio Grande Rio Grande country, road in inside of the. Nopalita ranch house and felt hunger assail him. X consuted consued consuted dine. He was soon seated at the midday midday dining table of that ho hospitable hospitable kingdom talk like water gushed from him he might have been smitten with iron's rod that's your gentle sh shepherd when an audience is vouchsafed him wo whose ears are not overgrown with wool. Mrs. Yager, he bub bu bubbled, he bubbled. I see a man the other day in the Rancho Seca down in Hidlago country by your name. Web Yager was his. He'd just been engaged as manager. He was a tall, light haired man, not saying much. Maybe he was some kind of yours, do you think? A husband, said Santa cordial, cordially. Cordially. The Seca has done well. Mr. Rager, Yager is one of the best stockmen in the West. The dropping out of a prince consort rarely disorganize, disorganizes. A monarchy. Queen Queen Santa had appointed 
is major domo of the ranch a trusty trusty subject name named Ramsay, who had been one of her father's faithful vassals vassals and there was scar silly and there was scarcely a ripple on the Napolito ranch saved save when the gulf breeze created undulations in the grass of its wide acres acres wide For several years, Napolita had been making experiments with an English breed of cattle that looked down with aristocratic contempt upon the Texas Longhorns. The experiments were found satisfactory and a pasture pastor had been set apart <clears throat> of the blue bloods blues the fame of them had gone forth into the chaparral and peer as far as men ride in saddles other ranchers woke up rubbed their eyes and looked with new dissatisfaction upon the longhorns as a consequence As a consequence, one day, a sunburned, capable silk kerchiefed, non chalant yoff with revolvers with, with revolvers and attended by three Mexican walkers walkeros aligned at the Napolita ranch and presented the following business like Epstil to the queen thereof Mrs. Jagger the Napolita ranch dear madam I'm instructed by the owners of Rancho Seca to purchase 100 head of, of two o and three year old cows of the Sussex breed owned by you. If you can fill the order, please deliver the cattle to the bearer. And a check will be forwarded to you at once. Respectfully, Webster Jagger, manager of the Rancho Seco. Business is business. Even very san sanctily did it escape being written specially in the kingdom. Especially. That night, the hundred head of cattle were driven up from the pasture and painted in a coral near the ranch house for delivery in the morning. All right, guys, that's the end of the second part and we will have the third part 
tomorrow. So thank you for listening to me and see you then. Bye.